Well, welcome to another Salty Strikes uh, fishing adventure. Um, I'm Chris, that's Kim. We got Lily and Lacey up there on the front of the boat. And uh, today's gonna be pretty chill. We're just gonna hang out at the jetties and probably do a little bit of inshore fishing. Um, and uh, we got a bunch of, uh, we just grabbed a bunch of shrimp and, um, you know, and just seeing what we can get into today. Um, hopefully we got some good stuff in store for you. Um, stay tuned and check it out. Got something. I don't know. It's not that big. No, it's just a little jack. Just a little jack. Oh, it's trying to throw you back and you had a wiggle. Little, a little lane snapper. Oh, look at the spot on that guy. That has a huge spot. Man, I can't hold on to a fish for nothing today. Oh, he let go, I think. Oh, I know he's still here. A little mangrove. A little guy, a little mingle. Holy crap! You're going back. Chill out. Oh, you want to see? Oh, Got him. A little. Oh, he's fighting you now. Oh, Kimber. What's going on, Kimber? Can you bring him around? Do I need to get my line out? You got him, babies? Oh, he's just, he's fighting you. What you got, baby? Down, 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 down. Just, just, just point it in the water. Put the tip in the water. All right, there you go. I just don't want you underneath the, there you go. All right, you're a you're leader, baby. You ain't got too much more to go. Oh, nice, nice slot red right there, baby. There you go. Good job. Good job. Oh, he might be over slot. He might be a little big. Oh man. Get that hook out of you there, but got him. Kim got a nice red here. Let's see how big he is. He's in slot. Oh man, he is. Almost 26 and a half inches. Good job, baby. You want to hold him? Sure. I know. Just look by this way, baby. You just hold him down a little bit like that. Good job, Kimber. Come on, all right. You can put him. Don't get much better than that. These are 18 to 27. This is 26 and a half inch. You just have to pull that thing up. There you go. Good job, baby. No, he's not very big. Either that or he's just swimming towards me. No, just a little mangrove. Just a little guy.
big or little or I'll just oh a little whiting. Oh uh, yeah, we can keep them. We got plenty of shrimp for bait, so yeah, he's kind of small for eat eating. If he was a little bit bigger, I'd keep him. Baby. Here you go, baby. Fight him. Here you go. Do you need to. Yeah, he's, he's, he's probably gonna head this way. Rod, rod tip down, rod tip down. Rod. Yeah, I know, I know. Camera, you have to keep. But there you go. Keep the rod tip down. There he goes. Are you sure you don't need the cushion? You do need it. All right, move towards the front of the boat, baby. Go, go that way, go that way. Here. P pull that way, pull. Yeah, you got it. You got it, babies. I don't think so, baby. It's... I think you just got another big red. I can't tell, but you're at the leader. Oh, it's, yeah, it's a big freaking ray. Uh, yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. I can't save this hook. No. Oh, come on, buddy. Up. Oh, I broke it. It's got that hook. Oh well, I'll redo it. had our boat service too because we went over our you know 300 hour mark and um i uh, got a little rattle so probably gonna call a day a little bit early today so we can go drop it off and have to take a look at it i think it just needs a minor adjustment i don't know if can you hear that yeah it's not usually rattling like that anyway. <coughs> well thanks for coming along with us today um uh, Kim caught that nice slot red, and um, I called the, our Yamaha um, service guy, and he's going to be able to get our, our boat in today to take a look at, um, see what they missed, or probably something just needs to be tightened down. Anyway, um, so we're going to go head over to that, and then we'll meet you guys at the flight table, and uh, we'll fillet up this uh, uh, slot red fish. All right, thanks. Hi. Well, the, the boat's at... Uh, at the service place, Yamaha, yeah, and um, they're not quite sure what the thing is, so they're gonna have to dig, dig into it a little deeper, and so they're gonna hold on to it for a little while, and so hopefully that won't uh, postpone any uh, of the fishing, and uh, we can keep things rolling. But in the meantime, we are here at the fillet table, aka, AKA the tailgate, and I got Kim's big slot redfish. Maybe one of these days she'll uh, do one of the fillets. But like the, the, the big deal with these things is um, uh, these 
they have like really hard scales and everything like that and they're hard to get into and stuff so um, uh, like it's hard to cut straight in this way so you just try to get underneath the scale right up back up underneath here and um, I don't know if you can see that just go underneath see I just went up, right up underneath there and once you get down to the skin see all those like you can descale these things before you, you do it but you don't need to and then you just come down the backbone like you normally do you can you can feel it you know so you can see that you just keep Get down to the that rib cage and you see all the way down there. Just hammer down and slide on through, and you got yourself a nice big redfish fillet. You see these scales are tough and they're good on everything. Got a little bit of that rib cage there, but we'll just cut that out. It's like freaking armor. That's a big old fillet. And then we'll do the other side. Maybe this will provide a little bit better angle, but just cut up underneath that. Those scales. And just start to come back down this backbone. You see the, the rib cage right there? You just keep going dressed right along that. And then it comes straight through. Probably need to sharpen this knife a little bit. A little bit of those pin bones there. And there you have it. And then that's two big redfish fillets. And what we like to do is uh, we usually blacken it. Uh, we use the Pauperdone's uh, uh, 
redfish uh, blackening seasoning, uh, or it's the redfish uh, blackening magic, I believe what it's called. And um, you just uh, get a, you know, um, a skillet, you know, preferably iron skillet. It seems to cook better. And um, a medium high heat. And it's, well, especially if it's indoors. <laughs> and you just coat that stuff on one side, flip it over, coat it on the other, throw it in the frying pan for a couple minutes, turn it over, a couple more minutes, done and maybe throw a little bit of butter on it when you cook the other side um you know just gives a little touch so try it out and uh let me know how you like it all right thanks for joining us again on all the salty starks uh, fishing adventure and uh we'll see you guys soon on the water see ya